want to go spy on Team Chipotle and see how they won this thing. Ah, here they are in the library now. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. 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 hey, I'm glad you're all here. Uh, can you explain to me about this IP process? Sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Sure. Go for it. semester, you're going to be given an integrated project guide. This thing is pretty long, so it might be a little bit daunting. That's why our team has decided to put together a short tutorial to make the process a little bit easier. So what is an integrated project? Essentially, at the beginning of the semester, you're going to be put into teams, and you're going to be assigned a company. And throughout the semester, you're going to be doing research on that company in a series of deliverables. And I'm, we're going to explain those to you uh, in a few moments. But first, you start with the team charter exercise. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the team charter activity. This is assigned at the beginning of the semester, and it's for your whole team to do together. This worksheet will first ask you to cover the goals of the team. This can, this can involve anything from getting an A on the project, to being the best group, to just having an enjoyable experience throughout the semester. The rest of the team charter will cover sections like team roles, an inventory of the skills of each team member, how the team will manage conflict, and lastly, the reward system that the team will use. So we put together a few clips showing common issues team faces during the IP process and we hope you and your team would learn from these mistakes. Guys, we have a lot of work to do. We should meet up at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Yeah. Okay. Pretty good. 7 a.m. I guess no one's here. It's really important that groups communicate with each other. Without it, groups will definitely fail. A lot of brainstorming this semester, and not every idea is going to be a winner. So when someone presents an idea you don't like, you have to make sure you don't hurt their feelings. You like to the city. city. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I just thought of a great idea. Chipotle should start delivering. What? 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 For this assignment, we have to pick roles. Uh, who wants to be meeting timekeeper? I'm not meeting timekeeper. Yeah, I'm not good. Meeting timekeeper? It's like they think I don't have any skills. Okay. It's best to discuss your strengths and weaknesses within your group and to assign roles to each person that highlight your strengths. Now that you laid the groundwork for your team, you're going to get started on the five main aspects of the integrated project. After you complete all five deliverables, you're going to put them all together in a final written report, and then you're going to do an oral presentation um, explain the solution to the challenge or opportunity that you discovered for your company. Way back in 1993, around the time everyone on this team was born, a 27-year-old man from Colorado named Steve Ells had a dream. A dream to open a fine dining restaurant. To make money for that dream, he took out his loan from his father and started what would soon be one of the first fast casual dining restaurants. Little did he know that he would abandon his dream because he had just started Chipotle, a restaurant that would soon take the nation by storm. So what exactly do we know about the restaurant industry? Well, the restaurant industry is currently a $435 billion industry that's broken into four different segments. The first segment is also known as the fast food segment. When I speak of fast food, you might want to think of McDonald's, or Burger King, or Wendy's. And usually the price ranges between $1 to $8. Next, we have the fast casual segment. You might want to think of Chipotle's competitors such as Panera Bread, Shake Shack, or Moe's, and these price ranges are usually between the price range of $8 to $13. Chipotle seeks to provide its customers with quick, healthy, and inexpensive food made with integrity. Believe it or not, Chipotle's success does not come from their Mexican food, but rather from their fast, casual style. That's why we believe, in order for Chipotle to, ma to maintain their market share, they should uh, do a cuisine extension to the fast, casual sushi segment. 
with our fast casual sushi restaurant concept, wasabi. This is wasabi's potential menu. As you can see, we have three main offerings. We have a sushi bowl, a sushi roll, and a sushi rita. So wasabi wants to start by targeting college students. That's why our first locations are going to be located at college campuses or college towns. Um, for our marketing strategy, we're going to use an 80% of social media and a 20% of traditional advertising. Why are we going with such an aggressive social media campaign? Because we think that our target audience spends most of their time interacting through social media. Also, it has a low cost and a high effect. Okay, so here we have what we estimated to be the cost of our wasabi restaurants. As you can see, they are basically self-explanatory. And all in all, we expect it to be around two and a half million for the pre-opening cost and the maintenance cost for a whole year. This might seem like a really high amount, but again, if you compare it to the 400 million that Chipotle has in cash standing around, this is nothing for it. Remember that one of the most important parts of the integrated project is learning how to work in teams. We hope you enjoyed our short tutorial and have a great semester. All right, everyone get up. Let's go. Okay. One more time.